so in this one we are creating a post our very first post all right so this is the profile page of course and if i hit the post button here it doesn't actually do anything so let's change that uh, we want it to be able to submit so before i do that actually let's go back to our uh, database okay now in here as you can see if i click the post table the posts table there's all this now if i go to the structure of this one as you remember last time i told you that uh, when you're going to use any of these to search you add an index now i said we are not going to be able to we're not going to be searching for images of the path of any image in this instant however i forgot one thing if you go to uh, this profile page and i hit photos because photos are actually posts that somebody made so even the photos we will need to retrieve from here so we have to be able to know which post has an image and which one and ignore those that don't now we could put an index to this one so that we can simply check is this if there's a value in the image uh, in the image column it means there's an image then we know that now the problem is if we add an index to image uh, it's a bit cost costy because image has a lot of text in it a better way to do this is to add one more column which we're going to call uh, we're going to we could call it anything but i'm going to call it is image for lack of a better term you can use whatever you want you can call it has image and then we simply put instead of integer we put tiny int tiny int is a smaller version of integer uh, and we're going to have a length of one because in here we're simply going to have one number it's going to be either one or zero so if we have a one in this one it means this post has an image if we have a zero then there's no image so it's much easier to search for this than to search if the image uh, has if, if the image uh, column has data or not and then it's going to be more efficient for our index because the index only has to save either a zero or a one and so on so right away we are going to add an index here because it's just one thing we are doing and we're going to call it as image if you don't want to be typing this you can simply accept and then add the index later which it will add the name for you so we hit go all right so that's all we need to do and hit save here and now if we go back to the structure okay added successfully let me go to the browse and there we go has image so that will be either a true or false which is zero or one all right so now that we got that out of the way let me come back here to where we're going to be posting so if we go to our profile page we want to add a form as usual because if there's no form uh nothing will will actually work so first of all uh this is the blue bar okay so let's keep going down what we are looking for is this section right here which says what's on your mind so i can simply search for that by pressing ctrl f and typing what's and there we go so it's about line 235 okay so right here we have the text area and the submit button so these are the only two things that we need inside the form so we can simply add the form right here say form like so and then add the bottom part here and use the tab key to move them forward now it's very important to add a method here because we want this to be a post method okay and we're going to change a few things here once we start uploading images but for now this is fine so the method is right here and it refresh to the same page everything else is fine and one more thing I need in the text area, I need to give it a name as usual, because if I don't give it a name, it won't have, uh, it won't be submitted to the post variable. So let me give it a name and I'm going to say, I'm just going to name it post, of course. That's the name right there. So, okay, 
let me refresh the page now if i hit the post button it will refresh this time which means everything is working fine so let's see what's actually submitted uh, by checking the top right there so we'll go back to the top here now all this uh, information here let me zoom out a little bit all this here is about checking whether we are logged in or not so this is very important before we submit any posts this has to happen first so we only apply our post uh, code down here so i'm going to put a comment here and say for posting you can put whatever comment you want so posting starts here i think that's a better comment like so okay so now first thing we have to check is if something was posted because we don't want to be processing data if nothing was posted so we're going to say if and we're going to use server as usual if server uh, request method underscore method if the request method is equal to post like that then we know something was posted all right now for now let me just print out what's inside the post variable post underscore uh, underscore post something like that so let me refresh the page not that let me just refresh from there and you see nothing happens but when i hit post and you see there's an array with post now post here is the name that we added down here uh, here because we named it post okay that's why we're seeing it there at the top so it's empty because we have nothing in there so if i type this is my post and then hit post we see it up there so everything is working just fine so what we need to do now is create a class that will allow us to post this into the database so to do that we go back to our classes folder actually i didn't need to go there i simply need to create a new file here and save it save it in classes i'm going to call this one post.php inside classes and hit save then add my php tags and then let's create a class with capital P post like so. And we are good to go. So we can create a function here. I'm going, it's going to be a public function, of course, because we'll access it from outside. And I'm going to call it uh, create post, something like that. And then what we're going to be passed in is some data from the user. And that's uh, pretty much it. So here, what we need to do is just simply verify the data. So first of all, to verify this data is very simple. I'm going to say if uh, uh, data, because we know the data there, we're looking for a post. If empty, so let's type empty here. Put it in closing brackets. if not empty mm -hmm. and then let's put an else for when it's empty and then we're going to say error is equal to so let's create an error here and say private private uh, error something like that is equal to empty so that we can return the error at the end so that whatever is contained in error will be but as usual since error is inside this class we'll use the this close not to forget that okay so if something went wrong this error will be equal to if it's empty please oh what can we say uh, you can't post something empty or let's be more polite let's say please type something to post 
with an exclamation mark and a break just in case there are multiple errors and so on so let's concatenate on the equal sign here let's put a dot at the beginning so we are joining to whatever is already there okay 